Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 4 of 2024, restructuring the Board of Directors of the Horse Welfare Authority. Based on a proposal of the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, the Board of Directors of the Horse Welfare Authority shall be restructured as follows. Sheikh Daij bin Salman bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, Chairman. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, member. Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa, member. Dr. Khalid Ahmed Hassan, member. Fawzi Abdullah Nas, member. Haydar Rafa Al Zubi, member. Dr. Bashar Mustafa Sayyid, member. The membership term for the board shall last for four years and it is renewable for similar periods. Under the patronage of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, the arrival ceremony of the Kingdom of Bahrain ship Khalid bin Ali belonging to the Royal Bahrain Naval Force RBNF to Bahrain was held in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagr Al Naimi. After playing the anthem of the Commander-in-Chief, the ceremony began with recitations of verses from the Holy Quran, then the ship's arrival ceremony began until it docked at the Salman Naval Base of the RBNF. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa was briefed by the commander of the RBNF, Rear Admiral Mohammed Ibrahim Al bin Ali about the ship. After that, they, he greeted the project officer, the captain and assistant captain of the ship. He conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister. He also congratulated the Bahraini crew on this achievement and for their ability to carry out the missions of the trip with efficiency and professionalism. The BDF Commander-in-Chief ordered that the ship's crew be granted the Military Competency Medal. He affirmed that the ship's arrival reflects His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's support to RBNF to enable it to perform its national tasks and protect the nation's gains, coasts and regional and economic waters, as well as enhance operational and developmental integration with other BDF forces, units and security bodies in protecting developmental gains and supporting national projects during the era of His Majesty the King. The Commander-in-Chief expressed pride in the role of the RBNF's affiliates and their dedication to performing their tasks of securing Bahrain's regional and economic waters and their participation in combating external threats that affect international maritime traffic. He hailed the efforts of the ship's crew and their excellence and training and the tasks assigned to them in their journey to arrive in Bahrain. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in the presence of the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'il Mbarak, the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, and a number of officials, the Southern Municipal Council Chairman and members and citizens, inaugurated the new Rifa'a Central Market following its renovation. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed the continuation of implementing developmental quality projects in Bahrain during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He affirmed that the keenness on providing vital facilities such as central markets and commercial stores in various governorates will facilitate fulfilling consumers' needs. The Deputy Premier stated that the government gives considerable attention to the development of central markets, which constitutes a main pillar of providing strong, high-quality infrastructure that supports food security. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture for its efforts to develop Rifa Central Market, hailing the follow-up of the Southern Governor on all developmental projects in the Governorate and for the cooperation between the Executive Body of the Southern Municipality and the Municipal Council. 
For his part, the Minister of Municipalities Affairs expressed thanks and gratitude to the Deputy Premier for inaugurating the Central Market, which affirms the support and interest of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in municipal projects. The Minister affirmed that the renovation project is one of many of the priorities, followed up by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, headed by the Deputy Prime Minister. He commended the role of the Southern Governor in following up on the development of the market. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, participated in the extraordinary ministerial level meeting of the Arab League Council, which focused on supporting Iraq. The minister expressed the kingdom's welcome to convening this meeting upon the request of Iraq following the Iranian missile attack that took place on the evening of January 15th on several residential sites in the city of Erbil, which resulted in the loss of civilian lives and injuries to others. The minister expressed the kingdom's strong condemnation of the act. He offered his sincere condolences to the families of the victims, the government and the Iraqi people and wished a speedy recovery to the injured. The minister reiterated Bahrain's firm position towards Iraq and its rejection of foreign interference in its internal affairs from any external party. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, also participated in the extraordinary ministerial level meeting of the Arab League Council to support Somalia in its confrontation against attacks on its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The minister expressed the kingdom's welcome to address Somalia's request to confront Ethiopia's attack on its sovereignty and territorial integrity. He expressed concern over tensions arising from Ethiopia's memorandum of understanding, which undermines Somalia's sovereignty and stability. He emphasized the importance of respecting good neighborliness, state sovereignty, and non-interference in international relations, stating that violating these principles can exacerbate tension, undermine regional stability, and threaten peace and security. Azayani emphasized the importance of the Arab League Council's support for Somalia's sovereignty and independence and called for the active Arab diplomatic action to address the urgent crisis affecting the Horn of Africa region's security and stability. In the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry organized a dialogue session on the El Medar Center and the formulation of analytical perspectives on global events. The Chief of El Medar Center, Ali Al Arifi, explained the center's role in monitoring regional and global events, coordinating with ministries and diplomatic missions, as well as serving Bahraini diplomacy goals. He highlighted the center's distinguished position under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Spatial Planning and Construction Authority of Slovakia in a number of areas of common interest between the two countries. The signing ceremony took place in the presence of the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wael Limbarak, and the Head of Spatial Planning and Construction Authority. The MOU is the result of joint efforts between Bahrain and Slovakia in a number of areas of mutual interest. Limbarek noted that the MOU stipulates that the two parties will implement activities aimed at supporting the development of joint cooperation and benefiting from Slovakia's experience in systems and laws regulating buildings and urbanization and smart monitoring of building violations. The High Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs held a meeting chaired by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf Nawaf bin Muhammad al Maouda to follow up on the progress of preparations for this year's Hajj season in line with the schedule and the plans set by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 
The meeting discussed the development of regulatory procedures related to the affairs of pilgrims of Bahrain. The committee reiterated the call urging citizens and residents wishing to perform Hajj rituals this year to register with licensed Hajj campaigns and reserve their seats before the end of the specified period on February 20, 2024. The ministerial meeting of the non-aligned movement was held in Kampala, Uganda, with the participation of Bahrain's permanent representative to the UN in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faris Rawai. The meeting was held in preparation for the non-aligned movement summit, Kampala Summit, at the leaders' level to be held on January 19th and 20th. The participants affirmed the non-aligned movement's goals and its principles that call for promoting international peace, security, peaceful coexistence and friendly sovereign relations based on state sovereignty and non-interference.